Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Spotted this in the charity shop. I wasn't going to buy it. £2.49, that's sort of a bit more than my normal budget of a pound. But then I thought, well I saw one of these in a charity shop months ago as an unmade kit. And they wanted, I think it was something like £15 for it, or even more. So I thought, well, we'll give it a try. £2.49, even if it doesn't work, I should still be able to use it to show my grandson how it should, how it should work. And I've just found it's actually got batteries in it. It's got a speaker there as well, so I think you're supposed to get sound effects. Uh, let's see which way around do these go. That way. That way. We've got a geared electric motor there that should turn the crankshaft so that the pistons go up and down. We've got a toothed um, belt there that drives the camshaft and then we got a rubber belt there to drive the fan belt. Got no box, got no instructions. Help it, it's not slipping, is it? There's obviously something loose at that end or broken. I'd rather hope that these were LEDs in here. That was actually fallen off in this shop. I was quite lucky to find it. It was on the floor. But I suspect those are LEDs. I'll have to have a look online see if I can find the instructions. But clearly this end is struggling. Looking at that, I um, don't know if the camera will pick it up. Let's zoom in a bit. There's a black line just there. That looks to me like that gear is split. And that's probably what the problem is. That's pretty stiff to be honest. I've just released the fan belt and it's still pretty stiff. So I don't know if there's any adjustment on the cam belt. That does seem tight to me. But at this end, that looks like a distributor. I expect there's some contacts in there, so as it turns round, it should make those LEDs light up. That seems to be all right now. So maybe it was the extra tension there that was making it struggle. I don't see any LEDs flashing.
No, we're not getting any lights. It does look like that should unclip. Yeah. Ooh. Ball race. Or a ball. Oh, that was in there. So why isn't that? Okay. I don't know if you can see the four contacts in there. So as this turns round, there's a little, or should be a ball bearing sitting in the end of there, that should make contact with each of those one at a time. I think I've cracked it now. The ball bearing at this end of the little tube wasn't sticking out far enough to make contact. So, there we go, it's sticking out now. It should stick out at both ends one ball bearing either end and a spring in the middle to give it some tension or pressure so it makes contact with that track and then those four individual contacts for the four spark plugs so I'll put that back together and see if it works power on oh yeah You can see them light up over there. Right, so we fix that. I'll put this back together when it stops churning. Right, I think we've got it right now. anyway. I don't know why we're getting a little double flash there, but I don't think that matters. If we're looking carefully, we can actually see the valves open when both valves are closed. That's when we get the spark. Let's do that one more time. So the valve on this side must be the exhaust. And the valve on the other side must be the inlet. Yeah, that makes sense. Because that's the carburetor. And the other side was the exhaust manifold. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for £2.49, I can put up with having to release the fan belt. Yeah, we'll call it gold. It works after a bit of fiddling around. And I should be able to demonstrate it to my grandchildren. 
To make it a bit easier to see, I've just unscrewed the rocker cover. So we can see the, the cams and the rockers. See the valves going up and down. Uh, well, I've just knocked the carburetor off. Never mind. So let's see what happens if we turn it on this time. That's oh, great fun. Whoever actually assembled this didn't bother to clean off the swarf off the end of the mouldings. That might be why it's a bit stiff when it's running. But it works.